Hey family, and welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I wanted to tell you about this beautiful story time. So as you've seen the title, which is, I'm glad that I left. Um, because it is one of those beautiful stories on how the couple meets, they break up for whatever reason, and then somehow, some way, the universe, God, everything just all aligns and they come back together. So first of all, I'll just say that this is a dear friend of mine that this happened to. And she used to tell me about the guy all the time. I would, you know, just kind of listen to her stories and everything and how everything was going beautifully. Of course, there were things that they needed to work on, but they met online and um, they just really meshed well together. They were both basically looking for the same thing, which is a healthy relationship and things were going well. And things were going well with the exception of, um, there were some things that both of them needed to clean up in their lives. And a lot of it had to do with like home arrangements and having several different people living in the home and just um, being able to travel together and everything. So anywho, my dear friend, which is the woman in the story. She, um, the, the, the relationship was definitely maturing and maturing and she was finding herself really wanting to be in his company, which is an awesome sign that she is falling for him. And he, he always wanted to be in her company, but she was just very unsure because she was still trying to let go of some baggage that she had in, in, um, she was trying to let go of some baggage that she had definitely brought along the way on her journey in this life especially from a previous relationship and so she was dealing with that simultaneously while getting into this relationship and so she was constantly working on that and that is always going to be a work in progress also because until you get super comfortable with your partner your new partner the old stuff is going to drag you down and especially if you don't seek help to actually get rid of it or if you have not dealt with it in a way where you're just no longer worried about it so it will haunt you it doesn't mean that it's the end but it will make the road a lot tougher versus a smooth road in a relationship so with that being said she was very skeptical about who he was and what he was actually looking for because she had gone uh yeah the relationship just wasn't bad she had been kind of ran through the mud so with that being said, she was just being very cautious, but she was still moving along with the relationship. They would still kind of travel together like to different cities. And she loves um, Chicago style stepping. And so that is one of her things that she does. She actually travels around to different states when they're having these events. And I don't know if any of you guys know what Chicago style stepping is, but you actually dance with a partner most of, um, I can't even say most of the time. I think it's all of the time of the opposite sex of the opposite sex. And the man is the leader during the um, Chicago style stepping and the women is the woman is the follower. And anyway, she has a really, really great time. She has a wonderful time each and every time that she's doing this. So she when when those two met, he met her while she was doing um doing some of these activities as far as the the stepping and this is like her main hobby this is this this is one of the things that makes her her like she loves the traveling she loves to go around with the people you know and just just different settings different outings just being around different people and just enjoying the whole atmosphere and what this the chicago stepping brings for her and does for her long story short of course things were not going so well because at, at, at the time he could not travel as much as she could because he had a lot more people living in his house a lot more people that was depending on him in order for their survival and um this is when things started to deteriorate because he basically wanted her to stay home with him because he couldn't travel and that is just not who she is um relationships have to be built on trust and because I personally know her I know she's a trustworthy person I know that she's not out there cheating or anything that bail that you hear in the background that I'm in the park again so the kids are playing anyway um, so anyway relationships are absolutely built on trust and if you don't have trust you don't have anything so with that being said I know that she's a trustworthy person she is a really 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 good friend of mine and um, 
things are just kind of going downhill. And so anytime that she would travel, like to go and see the family or whatever it was, he was starting to have this really, really big issue as far as her not staying there with him because he couldn't go. I remember they were supposed to have a, um, a get together with her family and uh, for Thanksgiving, he was supposed to come and then things didn't work out. And then he kind of got an attitude that she went. And I'm not saying that she should not sacrifice some time for him but these were things that were already planned they were already in the works when they met and um i'm he again he knew about them because he was supposed to go with her to meet the family and this was going to be like the introduction of him being introduced to her family as a possibility of a potential husband okay and it wasn't necessarily put out there like that but that was definitely where this was going they were really really starting to meet each other well when that happened he decided that it just wasn't working out for him at all and he became like really jealous and everything and it was just it really it really it turns out that it really had nothing to do with her and her traveling it was all about him he had these insecurities within himself and because my friend is like really bubbly and outgoing she doesn't have a problem with meeting people she doesn't have a problem with you know sparking up conversations whether it's a guy or girl doesn't matter um she doesn't have a problem with going to ask the guy to dance or whatever so she's just really open and bubbly and he would see her in that environment and, and he didn't really necessarily like the men touching on her but again they're just kind of the men are just holding her at the top of her back and in the bottom of her back and then they might do like a spin or whatever it is but it's nothing sexual or super close or nothing to make you think okay she she might be out there lusting and cheating with this guy it wasn't anything like that and again he knew about this part of her world because she brought him into his part of her world and she was even trying to help him learn the moves and everything you know how we do in the very beginning of relationships we want to impress our partner so we start to do the things that they like to do which is a great thing it's, it's a great thing like i'm not trying to knock it in any kind of way but my part my point is is he already knew that this was a part of her core being this is what she really loves to do and he was starting to have an issue with it is my whole point and so then this is when the relationship started to go downhill because his jealousy was coming out in any form and it was really not necessarily his je jealousy per se it was more of his insecurities as I already mentioned just insecurities about the way his life was going how he really wanted to be with my friend a lot more than he really could and then she decided at one point in their relationship that she really wanted to move to a different city which was like 45 minutes to an hour away from him and because of his lifestyle he didn't like that because then he was going to have to travel a lot more which again 45 minutes to an hour that's really not that bad especially when you guys are doing great and it wasn't like she was saying let's break up she was just like hey babe I'm moving to this city at the time he wasn't able to do any of that because he has to clean up all of these people in his home because obviously he has a, a big heart and he doesn't want to see people suffer but when we do something like that sometimes we can have up we can we can suffer ourselves because we're trying to take care of too many people and too many people's um, issues, problems, whatever, and we we end up putting the burden on ourselves. Anywho, they both actually decided to part ways about you know right after right after that Thanksgiving, and they just stopped talking to each other. It was just kind of like a done deal, whatever. I'm gonna move on with my life. So unbeknownst to both of them. They both had thought about dating other people, but they didn't. And they both were basically getting that baggage and junk rid out of their lives. But they weren't speaking to each other. So this is something that they found out once they started talking again. So how they actually started talking again is that they both like to play this online poker game. And they happen to be online at the same time, which I think that god really does work in mysterious ways because they both play this game all the time but for those they didn't they stopped speaking for almost 10 months so for those 10 months they were not online together not one time which i thought was just very mysterious because they're both always online playing this particular game but during those 10 months they didn't see each other online so anyway as fate would have it they're on this um, poker game and uh, my friend sees that he's online and so now she's debating should should I get online should I get online but she's like you know what I want to play today so yes I am and long long story short 
he reached out to her, told her how pretty she was, how beautiful she was, and, you know, just giving her some accolades, saying how good she looked and everything since it had been some months since they had seen each other. And um, they were going back and forth so much that the other players on the game was like, uh, can y'all just call each other? Like, <laughs> y'all interrupted the game. Y'all just do it way too much. So what they did is that they ended the conversation on that particular game, and then they finished the game, and then... Um, he said, I'm sorry, she, she told him, you know what, just just call me when we're done with this. And he actually did, and uh, pretty much the rest is history. Now, the reason why I am beaming from ear to ear and super excited about this particular story time is because of the happy ending. And it, of course, when we say happy ending, there's never an end unless the relationship is over with or if somebody passes away. So I'm saying happy ending because July 2018 they are getting married now so it went from a whirlwind kind of downhill uh, a nine to ten month separation they both needed to get some things together they got it together now they finally spoke again and now it's been inseparable um, she's been flying back and forth because she moved to an entirely different state in those nine months and um, what else happened so she moved to a different state oh and then um, <laughs> it's funny just the way that life works and occurs so she moved away they started talking again and lo and behold now she's going back there to be with him he actually cleaned up a lot of those people that were living in his house um they went various places or whatever um so that was another thing and then he had a little bit of um baby mama drama as well so he's gotten a lot of these things cleaned up and so he's ready to receive he also has room finally for my friend and of course she's elated she actually just sent me a picture of the ring uh the other day it's just it's beautiful and this is just such a beautiful story and i'm so happy to share her story of course she gave me permission to share her story obviously i didn't use any, either of their names but yes i'm very happy so in july i should be going to a wedding <laughs> unless they go to the courthouse or something but um yeah i'm just very happy so the point of this entire story time is to continuously make sure that you do you that is the way life works you have to continuously do you work on you and when the timing is right because sometimes you can meet somebody but the timing is just not right for you guys to get together for for your relationship to flourish and for you guys to move on to that next step and that's okay of course we all want it when we want it and it, but a lot of times it's just not our timing a lot of times and so you have to continuously do you continuously do not give up your own hobbies and I brought that up as far as giving up your hobbies because now he is singing a different tune. He does not care if she goes stepping. Of course, she's not going to go stepping as much as a wife. And, you know, um, she, she understands that she needs to scale it back herself. Uh, but as far as him and his jealousy and all of this stuff, he was just like, you know what? I want you. I know that... Um, you're a good woman and you're not going to do anything to harm our relationship or hurt a relationship or anything. So I'm just, yeah, I'm very excited about them. So definitely let me know down in the comment section below if something has happened to you like this. Are you with your current spouse and you guys had separated for a period of time, but now you are back together and they have been married for a year or two, whatever, 20 years later. I don't know. I, I would love to read your story as well, as much as you are willing to share down in the comment section below. Of course, check the description box below because that is going to show you the playlist for all of the questions for the month of March as well as my online my links to my online courses that's absolutely down in the description box below and then there's also some other information down there as well as how to contact me if you have any questions that you would love for me to answer or if you need some coaching um, then you absolutely can reach out to me for some coaching as well I've helped a few of my subscribers already and I would love to help you as well so yes definitely um Give me thumbs up, of course, and then hit the red subscribe button, especially if this is your very first time here, because here at I Live Me, 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 I am supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. So we can share these stories amongst one another, and so we can all use the healthy tips and tools and not the destructive ones for the relationships. I will see you again tomorrow.